Hello everyone, welcome to Her Courage to Plan. My name is Megan. Today I've got to get our paycheck budget number one completed with you all. I've already completed our monthly budget for the month of February and if you missed that video I'm going to leave it linked up above and you can go back and check it out. And guys if you are liking this spread here this is the February calendar spread. I do have the link down below to my Etsy shop. I have January still up in there all the way through April. And guys, I have a host of different stickers, guys, in the shop. Also have some printables. So if you are interested in any of the stickers that you see, check the Etsy shop out, guys. Now, February is a short month, guys. So the first paycheck is going to be a little different because the second paycheck is going to have a few more days on it than the first paycheck. So we're actually going to budget from February the 1st all the way through the 11th. So that's only 11 days. And then for paycheck number two, we'll do the 12th all the way through the 28th. Now, by the time you see this video, of course, the first and possibly the second will have already passed. But just know that we're not late on our bills. We always keep one month's worth of expenditures as a overall buffer just sitting in our household account. And uh, we're just never late on that. So I just wanted to explain that to you if you're new and this is your first time watching one of our videos. But let's go ahead and get right into completing our paycheck budget number one. All right, guys. So this is the paycheck budget number one. And this is the paycheck budget kit, guys. It is lovely. I am loving this here spread for the month of February. And again, I do have my Etsy shop down below. So for paycheck budget number one, guys, like I mentioned earlier, we're dealing with 11 days. And in that 11 days, guys, I'm not getting an actual paycheck. I won't get a paycheck until the 12th. So we're only budgeting for Hubs' income to be deposited into this here account. So the pay date we are working with is February the 1st all the way through the 11th. And we're planning to be deposited into this account 1462. And I'm not going to account for the January rollover until paycheck budget number two. We have a lot of things that are going to be, you know, hitting at the end of the month. So that's when I'll count that. So the planned amount, I just bring this down 1462. And then for giving, we do tithe, and that's off of our gross income. So for this here pay period, we are planning $308. And we also have our mortgage that is due, and that is at the 502. And then we also have our Netflix, which is the $1799 which has recently gone up guys and i'm hearing others that they're sharing their information about how netflix has finally gone up so they have definitely increased we were paying 15.99 so our internet is 83.93 and that went up as well and then our youtube our youtube is at the 11.99 and then for our pest control, now the pest control will be due during this period and we are planning $55. So this will be the first time they have come in the new year. So we're hoping that it'll still be at $55, but I planned in our annual budget 65, but I'm putting 55 on here, but um, just being optimistic. Now, if you missed the annual budget paper and pen, I'll leave that linked up above and you can go and check it out. And I'll also leave the one where I did the Excel um, annual budget as well. So you want to check both of those videos out. That way you can understand where I'm getting these numbers from. And then for our groceries, guys, I talked to you all about our groceries in our monthly budget. So for this paycheck, we are going to plan for $250. That's what we're going to plan for because we have our gift cards for $75 for Walmart. And that's what we're going to use first. And then we've got our house supplies. And so for the house supplies, we are going to allocate $50. We have a total of $75. 
So I'll just put the bulk of it on the first paycheck because I do have several items that I do need to get. And then for the gas, our gas is $100 for the whole month. So we will plan $50 this paycheck and then $50 on the next. And then our buffer for the whole month, we have $50 planned for our buffer so we'll just go ahead and split that up and we were planned $25 for it and so our total expenditures we are at the 502 1799 and I'm not going to speed this video long guys you all are just you know bear with me it's not going to take me long to get these plugged in paycheck budget number one is pretty short and sweet so right now we are at 1045.91. And I do know that we should have some monies left over, but it's just not going to be a whole lot. So before I do anything else, I'm just going to go ahead and plug in these here total expenses because they're not changing. I used to have to wait and figure out what the buffer is going to be and all that good stuff but because we have planned a buffer small amount in our annual budget it makes it much easier and i don't have to wait to try to crunch numbers to wait on this here budget on the expenses side so i'm going to go ahead right here where it says paycheck overview i'm just going to plug in the numbers that i do have so our income is at 1462 our given plan is at 308 because these are not going to change and then our expenses have come in at $1045.91. So I just need to see what we have left because I'm not sure what we can do for savings and extra debt. Now for the whole month, we're planning a minimum of $425 to come from this account on our extra debt. So I don't know if we're going to be able to get anything out of it from this paycheck, but let's see. $1462 minus $308 minus the 1045.91 guys we have a hundred and eight dollars and nine cents left guys so i can either i can't i don't really want to do the savings because now i can either put the fifty dollars on the pets and maybe $50 on vacation guys and then the rest in the emergency fund because you know the emergency fund automatically gets $50 at the end of the month and the total amount we've got planned is like 185 cents for the whole month but hopefully we can put more than that in there and I don't like splitting this up but sometimes we just have to do what we have to do guys and doo -doo 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 -doo, our extra debt that's a total 425 but i can if i even and out guys i can probably go ahead and just knock out the vacation if i do the vacation at 100 dollars, that'll leave eight dollars and nine cents and we can just put that over to the side for the emergency fund and then that way we'll focus on everything else as far as um, paycheck budget number two i think that's what i'm gonna do so for savings, we'll just do, so I said, what, $100 for vacation? And that leaves us with 809, and we can put that in the emergency fund. So I'm just gonna, uh, let's do the emergency fund. We'll just say emergency fund, and it'll get $8.09. And then the vacation will get its whole $100, and we'll be done with that, because it only is $100 per month. And then that'll be, the 108.09 and we can put it down here 108.09 no envelopes and no extra debt on this paycheck and we should have our zero base budget so at 14.62 minus 308 minus 1045.91 minus the 108.09 yep that's the zero base budget guys that was short and sweet so we are done with paycheck budget number one. Like I said, Hubs is the only one that's getting a paycheck. So this made it pretty simple. But for paycheck number two, it's just going to be really heavy. But it is all good. We're going to make it work. And y'all, we got these groceries at $250. So 
this is gonna be our first time using our Fetch Rewards gift card. So it's gonna be interesting to see how we shake out as far as the savings for the groceries for February. So stay tuned guys, because I do have to get other videos out for you all. I gotta give you all some updates on our emergency saving funds and the trackers. And of course, I've gotta give you guys a debt update for the month of January. So got a lot to do guys in a short period of time, but we are definitely gonna get it done. If you do paycheck budgets, I would love to have a conversation with you guys. I love talking with you all. Let me know how your paycheck budget number one is panning out thus far. You already know the deal. I am going to see you guys later. All right, bye.